We're concerned for the trees out front and on falling on the cars. And um, staying in, I you know do a lot of walking, but I'm not going to be walking in the park um, until it all comes down. Janet Dawson and her husband Mike say they'll be staying indoors with their dog Moose until the storm passes through Northern California. The Dawsons explain how they get ready anytime wet and windy weather hits our region. I turn off the computers and those sort of things because of the potential for power outages, at least on the big electronic pieces. Right. Other than that, we're just going to try to keep the outside drains clear and hope for the best. Meanwhile, city crews are preparing for the worst. Again, while we welcome the rain, the wind brings an added unknown uh, uh, really attribute to it where we don't know what 65 mile per hour wind gusts are, are necessarily going to do. We can anticipate the fallen trees, we can you know, anticipate the localized flooding, but we really need to be cautious about being out there uh, out and about when the, uh, the wind's blowing as hard as it, as it will be tonight. Rain patrol crews were busy all day Wednesday clearing clogged drains and making sure they're ready to respond to any hazards caused by the strong winds and heavy rain. Yeah, we had 75 trees uh, fall uh, a week and a half ago and we're planning for more of the same. So we are planning uh, on a citywide level uh, for even more trees to go down.